Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2021 video tutorial. The first part of the WW109 fighter plane, the initial setup of the references. So let's go for a sketch. Obviously I'm already you now go for a sketch on the XY plane. And let's bring in an image. And that would be this image, which you can download from my GrabKit account. Let's put it like this, maybe. And give it a dimension in order to scale it. So this should be 39,000 millimeter. Now, in order to position it correctly, I want to use the move command. I want to move this object and the base point would be, let's zoom in, would be here. And it should go to this point here. Like that and go for done. Finish that sketch. Let's hide the dimension and let's rename this one. This would be the image sketch. Also that XY plane would be the main sketch plane. Now let's do a sketch on that main sketch plane. And that will be the sketch for all the section planes. Let's start with a rectangle like this. Okay, then I need some lines first one, second one, Three more. And then align them properly. But first trim. So this should be removed here. Same up here. Like that and then adjust the lines a little bit at least. So this should be okay here. That one is okay. That one is okay as well. That's okay. This one a little bit to the left, that's okay. A little bit to the right, that's okay. Like this, like that, that's okay. And the last one, maybe like this and finish that sketch. Let's rename this one as well, and that would be the section plane sketch section 
planes or reference whatever you want to call it let's insert those section planes and therefore I could hide this for a moment and show our main section plane okay let's go for a plane and I want to use a line and a reference so it would be with 90 degrees that's okay next one here again that plane did I snap obviously not so go for a plane select the line so that's the other way around let's let's take a look okay plane go for the line and then for this plane that's okay that's sort of crazy because it's why is it bigger don't know next plane would be this line and that one okay another plane this one and that one okay another plane this line that plane okay another one line plane another one line plane another one line plane another one three more you might not need all of them but if you want to be precise you would need all of them so that's again a different orientation so can uh, the first one and the last one has a different orientation but we will see what happens can I change the normal of this one the first one let's see if there's something here with ability flip normal so this should be perfect and this one also flip normal now let's rename those this would be A B C D E F G H J K L and M maybe just maybe hide all of them and that one as well and I can also hide this sketch here and bring back our image I will need another plane up here a sort of a split plane and therefore I want to use a sketch so let's go for a sketch on the main sketch plane and this will be just a line like this yes it's a line finished sketch now go for a plane with that line 
and a reference plane, this one. So that didn't work. That's kind of crazy. Go for a plane. If you select that line, it should go for an angle and then the plane, the main sketch plane. Yeah, now it does. And that would be okay. Let's call this one split plane. I need the wing and the rudder planes as well. So maybe hide this one. Let's go for another sketch or I could do it in the same sketch. Doesn't really matter, so I will go for this sketch. And draw some lines to get the dimensions. Or I could do it with a rectangle as well. Let's go for a rectangle. So like this maybe. And another one here. Maybe like that. Let's see the dimensions. So from there should be this point here, yes. This would be around 565. And this would be 4265. And this one would be one, yeah, let's go for 120. And the other one, 1225. I could undo that or I could finish that sketch. Doesn't really matter because I will hide it anyway. Okay, so let's insert some more planes. And that would be one with a distance to the main sketch plane. Drag it in that direction. And the first distance would be 565. The next work plane again with a distance and that might be 4265 another one again from the main sketch plane in that direction and this would be 120 and the last one in that direction and this would be one two two five let's rename those this would be inner wing this would be outer wing this will be inner rudder And that one would be outer rudder. Let's hide those as well. Okay. Next would be the sketch and some surfaces. Let's go for our main sketch plane and do a sketch there. Let's see if we want to use arcs or splines. Let's try the arcs first. Three point arc, yes. Should start here. Then it should end maybe there. And yeah, maybe like this. Looks okay. Next one would be up here. Go over there and again, maybe like this. Let's try to adjust it a little bit. Yeah, like that. And another one 
which starts also over here goes up there maybe like this let's zoom in and adjust it a little bit like that finish that sketch let's see if we can do an extrude with just one of these arcs so go for an extrude switch not necessary to surfaces and the profile would be this one the other way around and let's go for 100 millimeter let's bring back that sketch which is just there right click and share that sketch make another extrude now with this one again turn it around and confirm and another one turn it around and confirm so maybe oh no i don't have to rename those because these are the first extrude so it's obviously what kind of extrudes these are so i think i'm done with the first part of that fighter plane in the winter hope it was helpful hope you enjoyed it if you liked it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook fan page it would be very nice of you i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the second part bye bye